Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I'm going to do a makeup look that is basically an ordinary Kenyan next door makeup look. So definitely the first thing I normally do is start with my eyebrows. I know almost all Kenyans normally start with their eyebrows. Now I'm using an old mascara wand instead of a spoolie. This is a dried down mascara wand. Don't use one that is actually um, still wet. Next thing I'm just going to take a pencil, an eyebrow pencil, and I'm just going to use it to shape my brows. Definitely, I'm not perfect at this, but you get the point. Shape your brows fast because they definitely define your face. So guys, this is a get ready with me. It's not actually a makeup tutorial. So you can definitely disregard all this advice because I know that some people will, might think this is a makeup tutorial, but it's actually a get ready with me video. So what we're going to do next is actually to just fill in the brows. And I normally just like filling them thick at the end and then at the front a bit sparse. I'm going to go back in with my spoolie and just try to, you know, comb out the hairs and also the pencil that I've drawn in so that it becomes a little bit more even. Next, we want to highlight the brows or to make them pop and look more visible. And I'm just going in with the LA Girl Pro Concealer in the shade Fawn. This is definitely a shade lighter than my skin tone. So that's what you want, something that is lighter than your skin tone. So we're just going to outline our brows as you can see me doing. Then I'm just going in with an eyeshadow brush and I'm basically just blending that out because you want it to look even and blended. You just don't want it to be like a coat or a cake. Now I'm going to go in with the Revlon, uh, the Revlon concealer that I normally use and I'm just going to use it as an eyeshadow primer on my eyelids because it's really really light so that's the reason I'm using it as an eyeshadow primer to make my eyeshadow stick better. And I'm just going in with a brush to blend that out to cover my entire eyelid. You want to have an even surface so that you can prevent kicking and folding of your eyelids. Now for eyeshadow, I'm just going to start off with a black eyeshadow and I'm going to apply it in the outer crease of my eye and also in the corner of my eye. So it's just basically in the outer crease and just in the corner of my eye only. So what I'm doing here is that I'm just tapping it in so that it can like blend well instead of smudging because if you kind of brush it out it's going to smudge everywhere
No, you have to be careful because this process actually takes a while. You don't want um, black all over the place. You know, black is a very strong color, so it could definitely go all over the place. Now the color that I'm currently putting in is just a dark brown color and I'm just applying this dark brown color like above the smooth, the red, the black eye, the black color that is just to create like a smoky effect so that it actually looks like, yeah, a smoky effect. So next I'm just going to go in with my concealer again, the Revlon concealer, and I'm just going to create a cut crease. What I'm going to do is that I'm going to apply it on the part that I want the shimmer eyeshadow to go. So I'm just applying it on the part that I want the next shimmer eyeshadow to go. So guys, at this point, I'm just going to put for you guys some music. Um, and I hope you enjoy this makeup look. Basically, it's a get ready with me. It's not really a tutorial for your girl next door look. So don't forget to like, don't forget to subscribe and watch to the end for some good stuff. And tell me if this is actually not your ordinary Kenyan next door makeup look.
So guys, basically this is the makeup look. I feel like if you're to go for a function anywhere in Kenya, you cannot miss this look in the crowd. Am I lying? If you're a Kenyan, please comment down below if I've lied. But I feel like there'll be always somebody who'll have this makeup look. And it's a good look because I also like it. I also like um, the ombre effect and yeah i it's a good look basically like but i feel like you'll never miss somebody who has this kind of makeup during a function or during especially during weddings functions club like there'll always be somebody with this kind of makeup and yeah so i hope you guys enjoyed the generic kenyan makeup look and if you haven't yet subscribed and you've actually reached this point in the video, please comment down below why you're not subscribing. And also, <laughs> seriously, help me to make sense as to why you're not subscribed, but you've watched all this way. And thank you so much, guys, for watching. I'll see you in my next video. And uh, thank you so much for watching. And look at these nails. I DIY'd them. I don't know whether you guys can see them. They are so pretty. Like, I'm proud of myself. I actually DIY this. As you can see, the colors were different. Okay, these are just stains from, like, makeup glue and stuff. But I do such things on this channel. Oh, damn it. Nails, show yourselves. Yeah, they look pretty bomb. Yeah, but anyway, thank you so much, guys, for watching. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye.